What? George uh, from upstate New York. Hello, George. Hello. Yeah, you want to talk on the radio? If you want to, you can. Hey, how you doing? Good, oh, how are you? George. Good, good. All right, thanks for calling, Great George. Great call. We were wondering, the audience needed an update. I just got an email at specialdeliveryshow at gmail.com. You know what it said? What? How's George doing? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we have the update. George is doing quite well. Sam, how are you doing? From Sam from ONA, how are you doing? I'm doing quite well, Dave from Ron and Fez. How are you doing? Great. Joe from uh, Utah, you're on the special delivery show. Yo, what's happening? Not too much. We're just doing a radio show. You got anything going on over there in Utah? Uh, just freezing my ass off, but there is uh, a new, another term out there called Spider-Man to hoe. What's that mean? That's where you shoot a big load in your hand and you just throw it at her. <laughs> Why would you do that, though? <laughs> like, supermaning someone I could see, because that's a natural thing. <laughs> like, the girl's uh, like, it's fun. It's fun why don't stuff. you do it on my stomach? And you're like, no, I'll just do it on my hand. Oh, okay, what do you do that? Oh! I'm going to do it. You going to Spider-Man? I think I'm going to Spider-Man a hoe t tonight. Or Which, tomorrow night. Who are you going to Spider-Man? One of the hoes. <laughs> I Why mean, don't you? Wife. I meant my wife. Oh, she should feel much better that you're going to throw cum in her face, and not anyone else's. Maybe Nico. Well. Sam. Rob in uh, Indiana. Hey, I uh, once gave my wife the uh, one-eyed willy. From the Goonies. In her eye. Wait, what was that? Accidentally cummed in her eye. She said, that shit stings. And that's the one-eyed willy. <laughs> yeah, I just made it up. Did you? Yeah, it was true, though, man. One-eyed Willie. That's my point. The guy just made it up. It sounds totally legit. Yeah. Well, he he one-eyed Willie there. It's ridiculous that every one of the hip-hop guys think they have to always invent a new term. Some of the well, terms aren't going to catch on. Back in the day when, you know, guys used to say, okay, that's cool. All right? Yeah. Whoever, inv whoever took that <laughs> Who and invented the term it, cool? I don't know. But whoever, I mean. whoever did that, my friend, is the Babe Ruths of taking someone's a, a phrase that already exists and making it mean something else. But don't try and tell me that Superman is everyone's talking about. Well, this is ridiculous. No one does Superman. But why can't you invent, like, slang has to come from somewhere. How come someone can't invent slang? I mean, hip-hop is obviously, right now, if you're a cool kid, you listen to hip-hop. Rock is not cool right now. It's, I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's not the cool thing. The hip-hop culture is what's in right now. So obviously, slang words are going to come from the hip-hop culture. Oh, okay. White uh, kids don't know better. Either a hip-hop artist made it up or it's actually from the streets. They don't know, so they'll just repeat okay. what they hear in the songs. Well, then I'm going to have my own phrase. Mm -hmm. Okay? I jizz toothed her. What's jizz toothed? I put jizz in her teeth. All right, well, that's not creative. It's not like original. You can't say it. I just jizz toothed you. But it has the word jizz in it. You've you, been jizz toothed. <laughs> you can't, like, say it in school no, and get listen. away with it. All right. Unlike Superman. You could say Superman. <laughs> because you could say, like, your teacher's not going to know what Superman is. That's the whole point of slang. Like, to slang, it'd be like, I like you better than her. That's a word. It means... Yeah. That, no, cool is the word. Right. So I, you can't I, say jizz toothed. It means I jizzed in your tooth. The teachers aren't going to know what jizz tooth means. Uh, TC in Dallas. Hey, what's up? How's it going? ESD in the house. <laughs> TC, baby. Oh, yeah. TC, dog. That, that a boy. TC, doggy daddy. <laughs> Dallas, Texas, baby. That's right. Hey, check this, uh, check this out, ESD. Uh, we got the ghost face killer. Basically, what? what it is is where you bust a nut in a girl's face, then you throw a blanket on her. Guess what? She's a ghost face. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you. That's, uh, <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's something. Crime. Yeah. That's more of a crime. Yeah, that's not something we'll endorse. <laughs> we'll let you. If you want to go home you tonight know. in Superman a ho, yeah. then uh, special delivery has your back. Yeah. But that ghost face thing. That's more of when you want to take hostages. You yeah. probably do the ghost face killer routine. Right. But I don't even think that had anything to do with cum. No. <laughs> he just wanted to wrap a sheet around a chick's face. Yeah, and then... Yeah, that's that's very illegal. No. We don't support that. But if rappers can't invent slang, who can? Hmm? Right? What about... Uh, Jack White? Jack White? Yeah, but I like Jack White, but the kids don't listen to Jack White. Yes, they do. I'm, I listen to Jack White. But the cool you know? kids don't listen to Jack White. Who? Like, he can sell out the garden and everything, but it's like hipsters. 
And hipsters are too lazy to come up with slang. You think hipsters are listening to the White Stripes? I mean, I think yeah. they're pretty mainstream. Well, hipsters are pretty mainstream too at this at this point. I guess you're right. But I mean, like like the main fake hipsters listen to the White Stripes. I love the White Stripes. Don't get me wrong; it's probably my fa- third favorite band. Who are the top two, if I may ask? Uh, Rob Zombie. Okay. And Jay Z. <laughs> oh God. What's wrong with that? Ugh. Sorry, it's not G and R. Jesus. Well, we have somebody. Uh, your wife just sent me a picture in the email, Sam and Dave Show Gmail dot com, of another version of Supermaning a hoe, which is you lay on her back with your member inserted in her from behind. She's on all fours, <laughs> and your stomach is across her back, and you put your legs flat out. So it looks like you're flying. It looks like you're flying. That's pretty awesome. That's better than sheets getting stuck to your back. <laughs> that is Superman. Because he looks like Superman there. Yeah. I mean, without the fact that Superman doesn't have clothes.